I'm concerned, whichever way you want to look at it, this Brisbane side is certainly a champion one. Scott, Kilroy, Rebo, Meninga, Miles and Lewis, today described as the mean machine. Foster, Linda, Fullerton Smith, Niebling, Paulson, Muller and Dowling. It certainly is a very awesome lineup. At number one and fullback, Colin Scott. On one wing in number two, Joe Kilroy. And then, three, the centre is Mal Meninga. Number four, his centre partner, Gene Miles. On the other wing, in five jumper, John Rebo. At six and five eighths, their captain, the great Wally Lewis. Number seven is Henry Foster. In eight is Bob Linder. The second row combination of nine, Wally Fullerton Smith. And ten, Brian Niebling. In 11, Richard Paulson. 12 is Eddie Muller. And 13, the other prop forward and Australian rep, Greg Darling. Final of the National Panasonic Cup with Brian Niebling taking the shallow kick off and Miles, I thought, could have really taken that ball, but he elected to try and take it on the toe. Well, from that passage of play, it's fairly obvious what Eastern Suburbs are going to work their game plan around. It's going to be a very big kicking game through Hastings, Eden and Gale, whereas uh, Brisbane, no doubt, are going to base their game on their very big and fast outside backs, such as Meninga, Miles and Rebo. Probably before the ball's even been played, and of course they'll incur a penalty if they continue to do that. Lewis! Lewis is into a hole! He's found Miles! Backing up is Linda! Linda's looking for the line! Gets a pass! That could still be a try, I think! Meninga has dropped it over the line, and I'm sure absolutely positive that Chris Ward was going to give a try if Meninga had have taken the ball cleanly because it went to ground. It went to ground from Linda and I think it came off the legs of Meninga. It certainly did and it was just there that he dropped it that the try went begging. Get back to Muller. It's gone across to Foster, then Lewis and now Meninga. Meninga stands, gets it to Miles. Miles is into a very big space. There's a chance on for Brisbane but Gale is around the legs again. And now let's see what they can do. Can they control the ball and can they come up with a, with a possible try scoring opportunity? Lewis losing the ball. It was six tackles nullified to the referee. Meninga looks for an opening. Gets a ball away to Rebo. Rebo! Rebo is short of the line. The referee went to ground. The referee had a worm's eye. Uh, in the second 10 minutes of this second quarter of the play, it's about time that Wally Lewis started to do something, and he's the player that Brisbane will be looking to. We can see him now moving into that uh, that first off the ruck roll where he'll take the first pass, and Foster's moving out the second pass off the ruck. Well, Wally Lewis is tackled about seven metres out from his line. He wouldn't be very happy with Muller. Muller got in his row, but he's over! That's a try! Scored by Wally Lewis from dummy half. He made it look all so simple. Let's have a look and see it. Lewis, I'm sure the actual play that they had organised fell apart because Muller got in the road. And then Lewis gets up, he plays the ball, and you can play the ball in any direction. And he did that and he scored. The Eastern Suburbs players complained about it and maybe they did have some cause for complaint. Kevin Hastings felt that he had taken up a marker position, which would have meant that Lewis had handled the ball in the ruck. The referee was in a better position than we were, but that's one they will talk about. No, I disagree with you, Bill. I disagree with you. If there's any complaint about the Lewis try, it would be, was he facing goal to goal? You can play the ball in any direction, and once it's cleared the play of the ball, you can pick it up. And I don't think there's any question about the try in that area. Ten metres on the Brisbane side of the halfway, it's with Meninga, and Meninga goes into the field of play, went around behind Gene Miles, and the crowd called for an obstruction, but there was no defence line there. And now it's with Fullerton Smith, and he reaches the halfway, and is pulled down by Regan, with East leading by five to four, and four minutes remaining of the first half. This is Brian Niebling, and Regan and Wheeler. Wheeler and Regan, they're hunting. And Mike Eden, at this stage, would still be unaware that he's taken out the $5,000 for creating the golden try of 1984. Not that I think it's gonna make him play any better. Taking it out as Paulson for Brisbane. Kilroy delivering a beautiful pass to Bob Linder. 
He got, well, got rid of Scott Gale with a magnificent fend. It's on to Kilroy. Look at Eden coming across, and Eden has made the tackle. Only just, though, let me tell you, that's the department. Spun back to Foster, away from a forward, away from another forward. Lofted ball by Lewis, picking up Linda, given to Kilroy, and he's in the touch. In touch. In fact, he's taken the corner flag. So what? it's out to the 22 for the place kick restart. Wally Lewis was very disappointed in Kilroy's effort, effort there. He was shaking his head in the background, and I think he felt that Kilroy could have dived a little earlier and gone a bit more gallantly for the line than he did. To the to the finishing line. Sorensen almost getting through then, Bill. Eastern Suburbs are up in the end of the field they'd like to be. I don't know whether they'll settle for a field goal and then work maybe on another one later, but at least they're in kicking territory should they be given a penalty. This is McKellar. He's through a tackle. He's through a space. He's inside the quarter. McKellar, the captain, he's pulled down three metres away and the ball has been lost. So near and yet so far for Eastern Suburbs. McKellar's had a great game tonight. He's been a great broken field. Ball by Lewis. The dummy half. Spins it away for Eden. Eden chips and... Oh, a beautiful ball for Gale. But it's back to Dowling. Dowling gives it away. Curry runs it. Outside, 30, outside the 32 line. It's in the hands of Meninga. Meninga shrugging off a high tackle. Getting it back to Bob Linda. Cut down around the bootlaces. They do well. Gale to kick. And there it goes. Down into the inside, the 22 area. Rebo's got it. Rebo with that ring of defence. Oh, he's gone straight through McKellar. He's outside the 32. A long, long run by Rebo. Away from Atkins and taken by David Green. Rebo, in touch. Rebo always tries to beat his man on the outside and there we can see he tried it twice. The first time he was successful, he went around the first defender, tried it on again around Graham, uh, again the second defender that was Graham Atkins and was finally pushed, pushed over the sideline. Just on the east side of the halfway, and that's a very big push by Brisbane. And they've won their second scrum against the feed. And this is Tony Curry, who's pulled down about 28 metres out from the eastern suburbs line. Brisbane with Meninga to Lewis, and then it's gone on to Miles, and the big international centre is in the score. Eastern suburbs could no longer deny them with Gene Miles. Three metres out from the line. Now it'll be for Scott Gale to kick, I would think. He's behind the play. Here's Gale in seven. Lewis has gone for the charge down. It's in the air. They come down with it. Leggett's raked it back. It's a try. No. He's disallowed it. Ball went forward. Off Leggett to Green. Oh. Atkins is under it. He'll take David Green up with him. Atkins, outside 32, coming to the 45 line, or coming to the 40 metre line, and he's cut down by Bob Linder. Played back to David Green, a dummy half run, and he's about five metres short of the halfway. Eastern Suburbs, have they got a kick left in them? They're trailing by a point. We're inside the last five. Dane Sorensen, Gavin Miller, a jink, and then he tries to step, but he can't get through. Dummy half, Dane Sorensen. That would be their third tackle, or is it their second? It's now with Finlayson. Right on the halfway, that's the fourth tackle. Dane Sorensen again to dummy half. Kevin Hastings calls it. Sorensen runs it. And a big run by the Kiwi International. Takes him 12 metres into Brisbane's area. Hastings wants it now. Here he is with the kick, looking for the flankers on the left. Eden leads the chase. Curry's underneath it. He's taken it. He's lost it. He's have got it. They've got six more. It's with Wheeler. Wheeler's tackle. 11 metres out from the Brisbane line. Eastern Suburbs need to come to the left and fast. It's played and it's dived on. Six more tackles but that's given Brisbane a chance to regroup. It's with Mike Eden, Hastings. Now it's out to Gavin Miller. Holds it up. Gets it to Leggett. Leggett's tackled. 15 metres out from the Brisbane line. Dummy half again as Gavin Miller. Goes for a dummy half settle. Then he hits them. Gives it back to Leggett. Leggett tries to dance around them but he's tackled by the uh, fullback against the feed. How much can Brisbane take? Now they've got six more tackles against them. Hastings to play it. Dummy half Sorensen out through Hardy. The bell's Under gone. Miller. The siren has gone. Miller goes for the line. Garland's got it to Sorensen. There's the siren. It's over. Brisbane have won it. Brisbane have won the cup final. My goodness and don't they deserve it. They must have withstood something like 24 tackles in the last 
exchanges of this unbelievably exciting cup final. I often ask myself the question, who is most responsible for this tremendous dominance currently held north of the border? That man with the cup or the man immediately to his right, Ron McCoy?